New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio has instituted mandatory vaccines for anybody going into restaurants, gyms, movie theaters, or Broadway-style theaters. Los Angeles is looking at the same thing. Will Vegas be next? Governor Sisolak maybe gave us a hint, but probably didn't. How's it going out there, guys? My name is Steven, and I am not leaving Las Vegas. I'm a Vegas blogger. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for future notifications on this video. Tell us in the comments below. Are mandatory vaccines something you think is a good idea? There's no wrong answer. Be nice in the comments below to each other and give some feedback. We're going to talk about the idea of mandatory vaccines for entertainment venues and big shows coming to Las Vegas and whether or not it's actually going to happen. This video, by the way, is sponsored by uh, p Magazine. It's, it's a premier magazine brand. It's a media company. They sponsored this channel. Uh, they put me out on this channel. They, they said, here, take some Ethereum and talk about us for a month. I said, for sure. We did a nice interview with them. They bought the entire billboard over at Resorts World. They're doing it for an entire year. Big company, super nice. Check them out on Instagram. They've been really cool with me. Also, VegasFaceMask.com, the only two you'll ever need. My wife, Caroline, makes these. Send these out directly to you from hand, from scratch. Takes a couple of weeks to get them, but they're the two best masks you'll ever need. And if you need solid colors, that's great. But if you like patterns, look at that. We have the 49ers and I have other stuff. You buy one at 25, you get one for free. And that's what that is, VegasFaceMask.com. No S at the end. All right, so look, we have to talk about this a very serious, very serious topic. I need you guys to dial in on this one. In New York City, as I mentioned, Bill de Blasio, the mayor, said the way we stop this thing and its tracks is by going ahead and, and putting an end to allowing people to go into venues where they sit around for 30 minutes to an hour to two hours or even longer and, and spread this thing. So he said, no people in those venues unless you're vaccinated. Everybody's going to have to check. Will that even work? It's New York. I don't know if New Yorkers want to deal with that. But that's his idea. As I mentioned too, Los Angeles mewling over the same idea. Now, what's interesting about this is that I don't know if it even stops it. You go onto my Twitter, not leaving LV. I can't post stuff like this on uh, YouTube because YouTube is, I don't know, it's social media, you know how it works. You ever read some stuff on my Twitter that I posted over the weekend that'll make your face run white with fear. I hate to say that because, you know, you're like, oh, Steven, you're already clickbaiting us. But no, this is real science backed from a 2015 paper backed by our government. Go take a look at that. But uh, on Twitter, not leaving LV. Would it work in Vegas? That's the question. Would this work anywhere? I don't know. Go to Twitter to read that and form your own conclusions because I'm not telling you what to think. Let's think about Vegas for a moment, though. Not only would this not work in Las Vegas, this would destroy the economy. This would ruin the city. Sisolak didn't necessarily say that this was going to happen. I have a one minute long clip and what I'll do is um, I'll throw it on a, a thing called streamable and I'll skip you having to wait through it because the, the watch time will drop in this video. If you want to see his clip, it's on streamable. I'll put it in the first comment of this video. Go watch it. He never says vaccines. He says mandates. He doesn't say what kind of mandate is coming or what kind of mandate he wants the industry to adopt. He does the Sisolak thing. He did it last year. What he says is, uh, what he says is last year, he says, we need to shut down non-essential services. So I would like all non-essential services to shut down. When those didn't shut down, he stood up and he signed an executive order to shut them down, saying, you guys should have listened to me the first time you did, not now I'm shutting you down. He's kind of saying the same thing in this context right here, but he's not saying what kind of mandates they are. The problem with this, though, is that for 100,000 people to come here, plus for the Consumer Electronics Show, and 100,000 people for SEMA, and 65,000 people for SummerSlam, and, you know, uh, 100,000 people eventually when we have the Super Bowl, this causes big problems. I mean, this causes big problems for those because statistically, I looked it up yesterday, 56% of people in this country have a vaccine, which means 44% don't. And there's no company that wants to turn a profit and put on a good entertainment venue and a good show for you that wants to, in this entire world, that wants to preclude 44% of people from buying tickets and enjoying that. There's no uh, consumer electronics association that's going to say, okay, 44% of our people cannot go to the consumer electronics show in Vegas. Let's hold it there. Not only would this destroy the entire economy of Vegas, it would just make it basically so we're not competitive anymore. You know, they have trade shows in Chicago. If you're a tech nerd like me, you know you know that they used to have different CES shows. They used to have a summer CES show that was going on in Chicago, and they used to have a winter CES show going on in Las Vegas. And guess what? Vegas got bigger, and now we have all the CES shows. All those shows would just go back somewhere else. We already lost the Mr. Olympia competition, I think, permanently. It was in Vegas for... 
who knows, decades. It was at the Orleans Arena, and they had a big thing at the convention center, a big expo, and it's no longer here. It's now going down to Florida. It's been there last year. It'll be there this year, and who knows how much longer. It was already lost the NFR last year. Who knows if that comes back this year, and if you do know, leave us a comment below. We can't afford to lose big shows like this because it puts people out of work. We have a huge union population out here that work, and they just support setting up shows. We have a huge population for when the people come in that serve those people. You know, Vegas used to literally, literally lay off 50% of everybody in December until uh, Benny Binion brought the NFR here. He believed so much in it to revitalize the city at the deadest time of the year when everybody would basically go into preparation mode for New Year's Eve, that he even fronted his own money, guaranteeing the NFR that if this doesn't work out, I'll write you the check for the experiment. It turned out the NFR was a resounding success. It filled a gap in the calendar when nobody was here. And now it's one of the busiest times in the year in town. People are working full time. We have the cowboy Christmas coming in and it's a great time for the city. But a vaccine mandate, that would pretty much kill all that. Unless 100% of people in the country decide to get a vaccine, which I think is highly doubtful because that's just not the way we roll over here. But I'm curious what you think in the comments below. Do we ever get to that 100% threshold? Not to mention the fact that there's certain demographics of people that are just never going to get a vaccine. And for whatever reason, those all lie on, on race lines. And this is not a political channel. This is just the truth. Go look it up. Go look at the population of people by race who are refusing to get it. And then you have a whole other layer of discrimination for people coming to shows and trying to enjoy themselves in Vegas. It's simply not fair. And for that reason alone, I really doubt that this is something that Sisolak is actually even considering. And if he is, where is his head at? I don't want this place to be a ghost town, and I don't think it will be. I'm hopeful that this is just something that a website is saying to get a bunch of clicks on social media. I'm really help hopeful that they took something out of context, which this particular site that, again, I won't name, well, has actually done in the past. They took a picture of Steve Sisolak at a restaurant, eating at a restaurant, and posted it three days later after he essentially shut down the restaurant business and said, look, Steve Sisolak breaks his own rules. Turns out the picture from the restaurant was taken a month prior and they decided to post it when it seemed like it would damage the man the most. That's not the kind of site I want to share with you guys, but they're taking this out of context as well. And we're going to have to wait and see. And I might be wrong. And if I'm wrong in the future, I'm not again saying I was wrong. But I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think Sisolak's going to do any kind of vaccine mandates here. I think this is something that we're going to have to wait and see how it all plays out. And I think we're going to have to just chill, take a two, two, uh, two or three deep breaths, say namaste. Remember that we're all in this world together. We shouldn't be fighting with each other. And that's what I think about that. But what do you think about that? I'm curious what you think about that. That's my video for today. Tell us in the comments below. That's my video and I'm sticking to it. My name is Steven. I'm not leaving Las Vegas. Thanks to our sponsor for this video, P9 Magazine, also VegasFaceMask.com. Check them out in the first comment and pinned comment of this video. Now it's the time of the video where I say three, two, one, click. Are you ready for this? Look at the camera. Look at my mouse because I got to click out this way and go three, two, one, and click. P9. Mm -hmm.